My project is it's called Governing Activation in Ireland and basically what the project is doing is looking at the impact of a number of governance reforms that have taken place um, over the last sort of five, six years in Ireland in terms of how the welfare and public employment services are delivered and administered. I think one of the reasons why this is important research is um, we're now at a point with the economic recovery where we have uh, an unemployment rate that sort of hovers about sort of somewhere between four and five percent and we've now got people on the live register who would be dealing with who would potentially have more challenging and, and complex issues than what the sort of public employment services have been used to dealing with over the past five six years in the times of the times of the crisis so we need to understand are the approaches that we've used previously going to work with people who are long-term unemployed might have addiction issues housing insecurity issues, family relationship breakdown issues. These are cohorts of people who won't necessarily have recent work experience or high level skills. And so how do we redesign our employment services so that they deliver tailored personalized support on a one-to-one -one basis with people facing complex, challenging barriers to employment? Can we get that in a publicly delivered system? Can we get that in a contracted out or privatized system? Are local community-based organisations better placed to deliver that kind of support? We need, we need answers to these sorts of questions as we think about redesigning uh, what our employment services system is going to look like for the next five years. Really one of the core uh, planks of the project is a six-week secondment that I'll be spending in the Department of Employment Affairs and Social Protection, DSP, and I'm going to be working in the division that is responsible for overseeing the contracted out element of Ireland's public employment services. Working with DSP is really important in terms of being able to get access to people in NGO offices, to people in local employment services, to people in job path, because the success of my project depends upon being able to have staff from those organisations participating in my research. So that's really uh, opening doors hopefully to the organisations that are working in this sector and the staff working in this sector that I'll be able to study and me also contributing to policy development in Ireland through the research here in Ireland but also through what I know from overseas experiences of, of contracting out employment services. One of the benefits I, I think of this project or that at least I hope for this project is that it will actually inform and be taken, the, the evidence that I'll generate will be taken up by policymakers within government in their thinking about how to reform the current public employment services system. And that as a result, that will feed into a system that's far more effective and supportive of people who are dealing with sort of complex employment challenges and barriers. And that, that this will also promote then social inclusion and wider participation in the labour market than we do have currently.